Sorry. Mm. Okay, April 19th, 2015 Sunday. This shit zoo, female spit, eight years old, comes in with a almost dry eye on the left. The right side is okay. The right side is okay. Eye looks okay. Huh? And it's, it's not discharging. This is the one with a lot of discharge, right? Yes. For the last three months. Huh? So two weeks ago, he went to a vet, right? And was given some eye gel and eye ointment and advised to use saline wash. The vet, uh, the vet told you will be recovered in one week? Yeah. Huh? You cannot go back and see you. Okay, now from what I can see, this this dog has this injury to the cornea. Cornea is a, is a transparent part of the of the eye. Eh? Cornea, you know the cornea, the transparent part. Eh? Now you can see, you got you can see from here. This is the normal eye. Eh? The cornea is the transparent part, eh? which is a uh, like very very shiny. Eh? Mm. Oh. Now this this part, the left eye. The cornea is injured, injured, so it becomes very uh, dull. Uh, dull and then uh, not shiny. Uh, not shiny. And then the eye white, the eye white is a sclera, is red. That means it's infection. Uh, there's a lot of infection. And compared to this one, the eye white is not so red. Uh, mm. it's, it's less red, uh, but it's not so infected. So mm. what happens is it's rubbing the eyes every day, right? Yes, yeah, correct. So this one you should have worn an e collar. Do you wear e collar? No. That's number one, always wear the e-collar to prevent uh, rubbing the eyes. Huh? The more he rub, the more he injured. Huh? So that's one reason why why he never heal the thing. Huh? So now I want to check whether there is ulcer. Not. Normally ulcer will cause this problem, so I do both eyes. Now I put the, this is a test. Huh? Wait, you hold the hip first. You just hold the hip. Huh? So I just put two drops in both eyes. Huh? Now when it, when there's also it will become green in color the cornea. So wait wait first, you know. So we'll check whether there's also 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 of course it's painful. So we keep on rubbing, you see. And keep on having discharge. So that's how you see the eye uh, did not uh, did not recover. So wait one minute first. Then I will check. Check whether it's also this is a test uh, for a fluorescent test. Uh, so see how bad it is here. Eye injury, you must see the vet within one day, you know. Normally, you know, especially shoots loose, they're very common at this problem. Because the eyeball come up, bulging up. You cannot do your own treatment for, for eye injury, so I, I check this with the good eye first. Just focus on your video and don't do anything. Now you can see. The eye is a bit greenish, you see? Mm -hmm. The cornea, so there's some ulcer here, so. Huh? So, uh, see the other eye. Uh, the other eye. Which is a, considered a dry eye because it's quite dry. It's just clear first. Actually, this one you can zoom. What do you need to come so close? Huh? No, I mean, actually, you can use the zoom. Do you see the white patch? Mm. Hmm? I, I show you not this side. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Center. Now actually, let us see. This eye is still clear, no? Huh? So there's there's not much uh, ulcer, not much, not much except the center part. Do you see the center part? There's one white spot. Mm. Huh? He had injury. Do you see the center one? Yeah. Oh, this one, the, the, the one you're worried about, this eye, right? Yeah, always like that, no? mm, this eye, the whole thing is already white, do you see? No? Mm. Oh, due to the, the scarring there. There's a blood vessel, do you see any blood vessel? Mm. 
Look at the side. We have a uh, phone on. Shine the light on. Uh, so you shine the light, you can see. Shine on to this side. Uh. Oh, there's a lot of scarring and the red, the blood vessel coming out. It's painful to the light. Oh, you see this one? This one, the center one is white. Oh, there was a scar there as well. Oh, so both eyes are injured. Uh, quite common in Shih Tzu. Uh. Oh, okay, finish it.